Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you are checking out another tutorial from ADSRSounds.com. So in this video, we are going to be checking out a section of Serum down here on kind of the bottom right hand corner. It's this note modulation source. So last week I did a tutorial on the velocity curve, this multi-point velocity curve that you can then, you can use it to create your custom velocity shapes and modulate pretty much any destination in the synth and you can quickly turn Serum into a velocity sensitive synth using this. But you have this same type of setup over here for this note. So let me just initialize this preset one more time and hover over this and we'll get the Serum hot tip. It says note number source. Drag this to other controls to map note number to a desired control. So that doesn't say a whole heck of a lot about what it's doing or how to use it. And unfortunately, it's not even in the manual. So I was hunting around and dinking around with it to figure out what it did. Basically, it's like a key scale. Uh, if you're coming from Massive, it's kind of like having that key scale, but a much more user-friendly key scale. So you can use this modulation or this modulator to modulate sources like the wavetable position, your blend, your cutoff frequency, or your filter. And what it will do is, depending on how you have the curve set up and how you, you know, create your custom shape, is maybe if you assign it to the cutoff filter, maybe these lower notes, if you turn this down, your low notes won't have as much of the open frequencies, depending on how you have this set. And then maybe the higher notes will. So if you're doing something like a lead or a pluck, that might be helpful. Now you can also use it to kind of spruce up and spice up your sounds. For instance, if you put it on your wavetable position, in theory, every note or every few notes is going to be cycling through a new wavetable position as you push them. And that sound is going to be a little bit different, obviously, than triggering your different cycles or frames of an oscillator in a wavetable using an envelope or an LFO. It's going to have a whole different feel. So I have a, I have a preset pulled up where I've created a crazy looking shape here with my note. And I have modulated my uh, wavetable position. So let me bypass this or remove this real quick. And I'll just play this pluck sound real quick. Let me take it off of the filter as well. So it's this is basically just like a pluck type synth. All right, so you'll notice that if you look at oscillator A while I'm playing, it has you know a consistent shape in the uh, cycle or frame that we have up. Well, now if I use this note and I modulate my wavetail position, what's going to happen is every note or so, you can see on the curve, this is the frame that this is the depth of the modulation is now playing. And if I work up the scale, we are now changing the wavetail position up the scale. So let's stop there. So from, this is, I'm playing G3 to G2. I have a slight difference in my wavetable position. All right, and if you crank this depth out, you'll get even more of a change. So let's, let's go back. There is C2, and let's go up to C4. So you can see between two octaves, I'm getting a very different sound and that's coming from the, the cycling of the wavetable which is a pretty cool effect so let's let's look at how this would work on a filter I'm now going to tie this to we'll remove this let's just remove from the filter and redo this so now we have it on the filter so my low let's turn this down Okay, you can see down here that now on these lower notes, I have basically no filter. It's, it's set up where the cutoff notch is. And now if I play up here higher, I have a very open cutoff sound. So this is just a rough example, but you should get the idea that if you're playing a pluck or a polyphonic synth or a lead, sometimes it's helpful to have the bass frequencies in there, but maybe you don't want them as pr to be as prominent as the higher notes that you're playing because your bass track itself is going to be taking up that space in your mix. This is one way that you can clean up the synth sound. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.